I can't cook breakfast anymore because <laughs> my table or my bench top here. No, it's just an excuse. I've got in the middle of my island here, I've got full of plant holes. So I have to do the plant hole video today. So I'm not going to really get too close. So that way you have an a closer personal look when I do the plant hole video. Okay, Pedro. Pedro's on my shoulder again. I'm just about to go outside and this bird has been on to me like a Hawkeye. <laughs> Is that a Hawkeye? Are you a Hawkeye, Pedro? What's a Hawkeye? <laughs> You're like a hawk, hey? Look. Hey, baby P, look. It's cloudy again, cloudy again. Okay, do you want to... I don't want to go outside because it's a little bit... I don't want you to go outside. I'm going outside. You're not. Come on, here. Come on. Go, 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 go. You're getting old. Ah! Come on, baby P. Go. <laughs> he doesn't want to come. Come on, normally I just go like this. Go. <laughs> Why don't you want to go? Hey? Okay, there. Play with your dingle bells. There you go. Mommy needs to mop the floor. You stay there, okay? I'm going outside. <laughs> He's gonna chase after me. It's a little bit of a bummer. I couldn't work in the garden for one because it's um, wet. It just rained last night and it's, this is the only free time I have today to work on the garden and I have to do some running around and get the wheels for this. We already got it yesterday on hubby's suggestion that I get a heavy duty one. It was a little bit smaller but it doesn't fit so I need to get the exact same wheels that so now I have to go out again. But for the meantime, I just want to see what's going on in the garden because I haven't been out here for a while. And this is my variegated Victorera that I actually put out here because this is one of the strains. My mother plant has already died after I uh, beheaded it. And so I thought I'll try and expose the new ones out in the sun or the babies. So that way I might still have a chance of getting another big Victorera that's variegated. And look what happened to this is a Monroe, a Chavilla Monroe. So a couple of the leaves on the top here. I've got this other variegated plant, I mean crested plant. See, you just take that off and she be fine. Oh look, see there's uh, the stem. Oh, look how beautiful she is again. Anyway, so I've got some Parpasarum here. That Parpasarum. Oh, this is... I haven't shown you this one. This is a white Parpasarum. I'll just check. It's still a bit soft, so the rain is not enough to water it. So I'm going to give it a little bit of watering today. And look at the different types of Parpasarum. And this is the grey Parpasarum. That's courtesy of Kanya. She gave me a couple of small cuttings and look how quickly they've grown now. And also, we had some rain. Well, we've been having a lot of rain lately. And now the sun comes out after that, like even for half an hour. And look what happened. So that was the 33 day we had that I actually watered late in the afternoon and then the following day we had 31 and so goes to show that do not water over 31 but it doesn't matter so because now i get an excuse to remove those leaves and propagate them they actually propagate really quick the gray papasarum euphobia flanaganii medusa's head look the flower is about to come out i took them all out so all my flanaganii so I started with this one and this is my original mummy and I got given a couple of leaves propagation from this one. These are the leaf propagation, actually three. So Nanita, thank you very much. So she gave me one, two, three and look, I put them in a pretty pot when they started growing but then now they're getting too big for the pot so I need to take that out and put it in the garden. Said a very blue elf here has been growing in here for a while under the Mexican giant, my pink Mexican giant that has got a, oh gosh, look at this. Okay, I just need to remove the flower so it doesn't seed up. 
I've been putting it here to sort of slowly acclimatize it because it's been growing outside, I mean inside my 50 zone area, my 50% UV shade cloth area and I don't want to give it a heart attack by exposing it to the sun that quickly so I slowly put it out here and now has, it's gone compact and so cute. So if I expose that to the sun then it will go all red. See those tips there? See the reddish tip so over here that will just be all uh that sort of a uh, orangey pinky bread which is just so beautiful i'm just gonna put my coffee here because i've been carrying it around there you go and my icy green oh look how gorgeous they are so how delicious do they look and the same icy green look babies i need to pull that out it's getting big on its own so this one has been fighting with each other and then look how delicious those icy greens are looking in there even a 50 zone area they're just going red and what I don't understand the ones at the back there are exposed more exposed to the sun and the ones out here is more in the sort of a shady being covered by the top area here and yet Look how gorgeous they are. Oh, beautiful. See, I'll just compare the color. So that is the difference. Icy green on the right is red and icy green on the left is green. <laughs> Next to the mommy, icy green. This is not the mommy, they're all the same age. Okay, I bought a whole heap of them at one stage at one time, so they are still the same ones. Anyway, this one is Pachypytum oviferum. Or is it Graptopetalum? I'm confused now. There's so many tums. <laughs> now this is the mother plant. And I've taken or grown some babies from this mother plant. So look at this, okay? That's beautiful and fat, round. I hope it's oviferum. I'm getting mixed up with a lot of the labels are all gone now. I have to reinstate it. But there's a label at the back here, I'm sure. Uh, okay, let me reach out. Yes, it is oviferum. <laughs> So, but I want to know if, yeah, hang on, if you're a Pachypytum or <laughs> Graptopetalum. Now, okay, I'll put you here. Pachyveria Elaine, don't lose the label now, is rotting a bit here. So you sort of just remove the leaves and that one is a Glutinicauli. This is Pachyveria Elaine, Pachypytum Glutinicauli, so confusing. And then Pachypytum Brachiosum. And this one is baby fingers, Pachypytum, oh my goodness, my brain, Machuse or Sadowski, one of those two. Now, that one is, yes, Machuse, there you go, There's, I got a label. See, that's why it's handy having a label and I'm being bitten by mosquito right in the middle of the day and see, that's a leaf I try to propagate and then they just won't do it. In summer, they go to sleep. So no good propagating them in summer because they will rot. Even inside, I noticed Pachypytum and uh, this, the big ones, the fat ones, the moonstones, they don't seem to like to grow when it's hot. They absorb a lot of moisture and then they rot like this ones here. But look how fat these babies are. And look at that. That one in the back is red where it's being exposed to the sun more. See, same pot. So now the object is to grow this one to look like the mummy plant here which is getting fatter and fatter and hopefully eventually I would like to have a cluster of fat one like this. So this is another oviferum that I've grown. Look, this is on my advanced soil mix. Oh, just be drawn pass draw pass in front of me <laughs> yeah flew past me now this one this is a stress of a fair room because i have this in my advanced soil mix the other ones are growing in my master succulent soil mix this is the problem when you haven't been out here for a while or i haven't been out here for a while it's just i forget what things are and this my frisal sisal albuca spiralis i think this one has now dried up and 
I'm not worried that it's sort of doing that because it's dormant right now. So it's at least it's still got a couple of curls. I usually put that away, tuck it away somewhere shaded. But uh, now I just left it there just to see what will happen if I leave it out here during summertime. So anyway, guys, um, I've got to go because this mosquito is biting me. Oh my goodness, it's the middle of the day and they're biting me. And this one is my red gilva. That was green before and now it's coloring up nicely in here and also one of my Martin hybrids, hang on, I'll just step over here, is, looks like it's variegating. So I'm supposed to put this in the garden but it's showing a couple of signs of variegating. And speaking of variegating, I'm going to show you something that I just discovered. I was going to do some arrangement. See, I still haven't moved this. I was rearranging my arrangement here. This one, because it really needs cleaning up and attending. I'm still going to do that, but for the meantime, I don't really want to touch this one because it's got variegated. Look, it variegated. Look at that. So I don't even know your name. There must be a label somewhere in there that I can dig out. But this one plant, so there are one, two, three, the same, two of them variegated, and there's also another baby here, I don't know if that's variegated, so now I can't touch it, can't touch it, so <laughs> I'm going to start singing and someone's going to get upset saying, could you please, I really enjoy your video, but could you please stop with the singing. Now, um, this one as well, I think, are you Miranda? So... Anyway, they really need to be pulled out because there's so but then if they do that and variegate I'm probably best leaving it there. But anyway, I'm not doing any rearranging at the moment Because one it's wet and two It's hot So 31 degrees today. I think forecast again and it's humid and it's humid So and look how beautiful that purple one is so cherry cherry tart that one so anyway, guys, I'm going to bid you adieu. I'm going to have to go inside and finish off my coffee, which is already cold, and go to Fishwick, and where a place called Fishwick is like our industrial area here in Canberra, where we get our tools and stuff like that, because my hardware store couldn't find the wheels for my trolley here. So I bid you adieu, adieu. Adieu, adieu, adieu now. Okay. Oh, look, they're all happy. Oh, I really, really, really love you. Exotica, orange, orange Exotica, two of them. Okay. Bye for now, guys. And I'll see you on the next video. So another Exotica, but gray. Beautiful. Oh, Monroe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this one. I need to water you. I'm sorry. This Paki Paitum chiseled stone which looks like a pocket by tum compactum.